and I'll do the face mask. So to make sure that my skin is nice and clean, I'm using this Polish Choice Skin Perfecting Exfoliant right here. It's just a clear liquid like this. I'm gonna use my Foreo Luna 2 for sensitive skin to apply it. And it just vibrates on your skin. This really helps exfoliate your skin and also helps with texture. And then I went in with this Secret Garden face mask. Just pop this open, squeeze out this serum right here. I just put it on my face. And then for the face mask, I just pop this off right here. This is the face mask. You just put it on your face like this. Where's my nose? Oh, there we go. And let it <laughs> rush on your skin. And you just do that and I'm sure it looks a little better, but I'm just showing you a little demonstration. Why do I look like Picasso? I pamper myself. Let me get my life together real quick. And then I use this hair mask right here in my hair. I let it sit and then I wash it out. It's just super deeply moisturizing to your hair, especially if you have damaged hair, if you color your hair a lot. Um, it really helps to put on a hair mask. <laughs> I just poke myself in my eye. Can I tell you guys something? I just got eyelash extensions. If you follow me on Snapchat, I snapchatted the whole thing. I put makeup on every single day and I take makeup off every day. So I am bound to get stuff on these lashes that is very hard to take out. So if you can tell, they have white little spots. It's just really hard to take off, take off. It's really hard to take off of the lashes. So if you're like, what is that white stuff on your eyes? It's, it's I don't know, it's probably old makeup to be honest. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prep my face for the makeup. So I'm gonna be using this Cover FX Illuminating Primer. This is gonna give us a nice even, it's gonna give us a nice even application. This is an illuminating primer. As you can see, my skin is already glowing. Like if you feel like your skin's a little dull, it's gonna brighten it up. It's gonna look nice and glowy. It's silicone free. So now that our face is nice and primed, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some foundation. The foundation I use for full intense coverage is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now I found a different Double Wear. Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage. I am obsessed, because you know I love my coverage. Love my coverage, and this one is so good. I'm in the shade, just in case you guys are wondering if we're the same shade, I am in 3W1 Tawny switching things up around here. So I'm gonna put it on here. I think I used this in my last video, just a little bit. We don't wanna go too crazy with it. <laughs> my beauty blender. This is for those of you who want to look like you have a different layer of skin on. It's also very, very matte, right? It Doesn't it look like this is a new layer of skin? It just has like a powdery, velvety finish. And you can automatically see that. I'm like a snake right now. I just shed the scales and this is my new skin. And can I tell you guys something? I have a lot of foundation left over, so a little bit goes a very long way. I obviously just wasted a whole bunch of foundation that I'm gonna try to figure out how to put back in there. <laughs> this is not cheap. For concealer, I am going to use my ultimate favorite one right now is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. This is in medium, which is the wrong shade for me. <laughs> so I don't know why I grabbed that, but I will be right back. Okay, so I found it, it's right here. Um, this is the light medium one, and I use that underneath my eyes and on my highlight, on my highlight spots. So I'm just gonna go underneath my under eyes. So these are the places that I want my face to look brighter in. I want them to stand out or I just want to hide the darkness. I use this as my base highlight. I kind of let it sit for just a little bit because I feel like it sticks on a lot better that way. And I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender. I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quick. I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil to fill them in. I love this little guy to bring the little hair-like strokes in the front. It's so good. This is the Cabral brush. is such a fine little tip. 
and it just draws the hairs. It's like heaven. It's like razor sharp. Brushing them upward. I just need like three or four hairs and I feel like it's even. And then I'm just filling in the little areas. This one's naked and this one has clothes on. That's how I think of it. Before I put on any eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with Mana Kadar powder in C2 Warm Yellow. Go over my lids to kind of set the concealer and foundation. Okay, so putting on the powder is gonna help the eyeshadow go on a lot smoother. I'm gonna go in, oh, I'm so excited. I haven't used this palette yet on my channel. This is the Too Faced, um, The Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials palette, and I'm very excited to use it. It's very pretty. This is what the shadows look like. So I'm gonna go in with the lightest taupey shade, which is this one here, this is Painkiller. Apply this to my lid and my crease. Just in case you guys are wondering what this brush is, it's like a bent to curved brush. This is from Tarte and it's shaped that way so that you it's just easier to hold whenever you blend. Whenever you apply your eyeshadow, you always want to start off with using a lighter hand. Put your hand on the end of your eyeshadow brush. Don't hold it too close right here because then you have too much control of the brush and you're going to want to push down harder. You're going to put too much product down. You're not going to blend it as easy. It's going to also go on a lot lighter so that you can build. Like so. I watch a, uh, I watch, I watch a lot of, I got watch a lot of beauty vloggers in the UK, like Zoella and Danny Monsuti and so many of them that their accent gets stuck in my head and I, I just start talking like that. Now I always say sir, like it's just normal. No. She has chocolate soleil in the palette. I'm just gonna take my brush and work it into chocolate soleil and also kind of work that in the areas we put painkiller down. I'm gonna put makeup and chill on my crease and lid. Then I wanna intensify the crease a bit more. So instead of, I'm gonna use the same shade, but I'm gonna use the denser brush. So this is more densely packed. This is the MAC 239. Because it's more densely packed, it's gonna pick up more product and work it onto the outer corner. Then I'm going to take Wanted, which is this matte black shade right here. I'm going to focus that on the outer crease, just the outer V area. So let's do this. Okay, so next I'm going to use this Jelly Pong Pong Neapolitan palette and it has these three shades in it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here, which is this rosé. It reminds me of rosé for some reason. I'm gonna take this rosé shade and I'm gonna pop it onto the lid. On the inner corners, I'm gonna take Ivy. You have closer set eyes like I do. Keep the inner part of your eye as light as can be because then it can look overwhelming. And then for the brow bone highlight, I'm gonna take Ivy and just pop it onto the brow bone. Everything that I did to the outer corners of my eyes, I'm also gonna do to the bottom part of my lower lash line. And then for my wing, I'm gonna take the Too Faced Sketch Marker in Charcoal Black and just create that party wing. Sometimes what I do to make sure that they're not lopsided is just create the base first so they're not like, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring them in. I'm gonna switch eyeliners, just because I feel like this one, this is because it has a little bit of gray in it, so I'm gonna switch to my NYX squid liner. It's very, very black. This wing looks like it's literally about to slice a piece of fruit. I'm almost a little scared of this wing, to be honest. I always tilt my head back, you know, so that's one smooth, clean line and not like a bumpy line. Just to add even more drama to our eyes, I'm gonna use this Rodeal Smoky Eye Pen and I'm going to use it on my lower lash line and then smoke it out. And then for lashes, I'm gonna use my Iconics. I feel like Iconic is pretty standard when you wanna go for glam because they are the most perfect lashes for glam looks. See how spiky they are? They're long, they're spiky, but they're still PC so you can still see the eyeshadow underneath. Pop these on real quick. Now I'm gonna go back to my face. Look at my claws. But I wanna bake my under eyes first because I don't want my under eyes to crease. And I want you guys to bake your face, especially your under eyes, if you have a creasing problem with those under eyes, which a lot of us do. You're gonna be glam, you're gonna be out all night, probably at a big event, you don't want these big creases in your under eyes. Using the Kat Von D translucent powder to bake today. Okay, I'm having a difficult time opening this. As I told you guys before, it's so hard to do anything with these nails. 
besides pick your nose. <laughs> This is my dance move when I go on the dance floor. This is what I do. I'm so cool. Definitely one of the cool kids in school. Not. I'm just gonna set my makeup all over my face. Gonna go down my neck. I'm gonna take the lightest shade of contour. Just a tiny tad bit. Just to intensify the shade. You see how much it's about to be snatched. I'm gonna take the lightest shade in the palette, which you can tell I use a lot, and just dab it right in the middle. So next I'm gonna use the Pacifica Sun Dreams Lotus Infused Bronzer. This is in the shade Sunkissed. I'm gonna use a B blush brush to add some warmth to my face. Okay, for my cheek color, I'm gonna take Justify My Love from the Nikki Tutorials palette, this very pretty pink right here. I'm gonna work it on to my cheeks. And then for the highlight, I'm gonna take Champagne Truffle and highlight my face. You guys have to tell me how many times I highlighted in this video because I know I've highlighted like six times. I'm gonna take it right here so the light naturally hits my nose. 